1638, a large number of people from South Ayrshire had signed the National Covenant. This covenant stated that the king could not be head of the church, only God could be head of the church. Ministers who adhered to the covenant were excluded from their churches and instead held religious meetings known as conventicles in out-of-the-way places, trying to avoid the king's soldiers. In 1681, the Reverend Donald Cargill held a conventicle to the north of Maybole. He used a, a, a site where there was a stone that was well known as a meeting place, and this has become known as Cargill Stone. In 1843, what's known as the Great Disruption took place, where a number of ministers left the established church and set up the Free Church. The Free Church minister in Maybole took a liking to the stone and blew it up with gunpowder, and the large stone that he managed to extract was then placed down in the new church that he constructed. And you can still see it in the location where the church used to be, down in Cargill Court. The remaining stones were either taken away as souvenirs, some were converted into curling stones, and a few were, were built into the memorial that was built in the corner of the field where Cargill had preached. Donald Cargill was not captured on this spring day in 1681 at the conventicle, and so he joined Richard Cameron, the famous Covenanter. He went as far as excommunicating King Charles II and his counsellors, making him a marked man. At age 71, he was captured, taken to Edinburgh and hung. It said as he went up the steps to the gallows, that he felt more fear going up to his pulpit than he did going up to his death to face God. The names of the other six martyrs that are marked upon the memorial are those of local people who had fought at the disastrous battle of Bothwell Brig. They'd been jailed and then exiled to America. However, near Orkney the boat sank. The captain refused to release the prisoners and most of them drowned, including these six.